a lot of people make excuses. Even if something's not your fault, your success is still your responsibility. So like your disadvantages, the things that happen to you, all that stuff may be true, but success is still my responsibility. You can have reasons that you didn't succeed, or you can have results. If you gotta work harder than someone else, then work harder. My name is Brandon Carter. I've been a personal trainer and nutritionist for the past 20 years. Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Brandon Carter. I wanna welcome you to my YouTube page. I was born and raised on the south side of Chicago. It's a very, very uh, rough environment. Um, a lot of violence and gangs. That environment was so tough that it made me wanna be tougher. My fitness journey started when I got sent away to military school because I got in some trouble. I was the only poor kid there and I was the only black kid there and they used to just pick on me. But one thing I learned growing up, my mom would just, she instilled on me to never let anyone pick on me or never be a victim. So I ended up just fighting everybody, but I would lose those fights uh, more than I won. And that summer, I went home. I put on some strength and some size. I made a lot of progress that summer. I went back to military school and I thought, man, I'ma knock one of these kids out. The first one, I can't wait. I'm very excited. The funny thing happened, like, the kids didn't mess with me no more. In fact, they started asking me how I made this transformation and asked me to help them. You remember, these were the kids who were, who were jerks to me. They stopped being jerks once they started making progress themselves. That's when I fell in love with being a personal trainer. I knew that was something I was gonna do for a long time. I never thought that personal training was gonna be my career. I just knew I liked to train the people, right? But everything changed. Everything changed one day. Um, I got a series of frantic text messages from my sister. She said, call me, call me, call me, call me. And I was like, this is strange. And, and I called her and she said that my dad was missing and they found a suicide note. And um, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe that that was for real. Like, I was like, no, there's no way, no way. So I get on the first flight, I can get to Chicago. And I get, I see my mom, she's crying, she doesn't know what to do. And I'm like, I'm still not trying to believe it till I get a knock on the door. And it was a Chicago Police Department. And they asked me and my mom to sit down and they, they said that they found my dad. And uh, he was dead in a hotel like two blocks, two blocks from the house. And you know, that's when everything kind of changed. I had to get serious about life. I had to get serious about success, especially now. Being a man of the house, having to take care of everyone. I gotta figure this out in a legit way. I started trying to bring my fitness business online, but I didn't know what I was doing. I was trying to figure it out. So that wasn't making a lot of money, but I was, I was committed to making it happen. So I got a job as a, uh, for a moving company. I was personal training, and on the weekends, I managed my buddy's restaurant all while still trying to build my online business. 12 to 14 hour days, seven days a week. And I did that for two years, man. Just put my head down and worked. It was a struggle, but fast forward five years later, now we have a multi-million dollar business office in Manhattan next to Central Park and you know customers all around the world. And now like I'm really helping people like on a big scale. So that same feeling I got from those kids in high school, now it's like, at scale, literally like thousands, like more than I can keep up with. And it's, it's just a beautiful thing. This is a lot of hard work. I'm trying to help as many people, but I also know how bad things can get, right? So like in, my, in the back of my mind, I kind of, sometimes I think, you know, maybe if I had been taking my life seriously earlier, maybe I could have helped my dad out and still be here. But you can have reasons that you didn't succeed or you can have results. Whatever it takes. If you gotta work harder than someone else, then work harder. Hey guys, it's Brandon Carter signing off for Sweet Sweat. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.